from Treasure Beach wears the number 13. And this is how Lime Hall, they will set up playing in a 4-3-3 formation. And some new entrants into the squad. Deshaun Bentley will be coming into the starting lineup fresh um, into this team. Marlon Pinnacle there, but present number eight, Jaheim Williams between the sticks. And as you can see, Darius Stewart, probably the most impressive of their midfielders. We are there number 17, and he likes to. He is a creative element for them if there ever is one. And yeah, as you can see, head coach Lewin Persa stated there. Uh, not, not, not the case though. Not, not active. <laughs> not active. Uh, yeah. uh, they've brought in a new coach as well in Opton Gilchrist. That man on the screen is Vanny Clark. He's the technical director. So they've made some changes. And uh, yeah, good, good. We'll see whether or not those changes will bear fruit. Treasure Beach, they will line up with a 4 5 1 Moy Morgan between the six. Lots of experience coming into their lineup as well. So good work being done in the transfer window. John Luca Levy, who's playing in the lower leagues in England, has a cap already for the Reggae Boys. He'll be wearing the number 44 in the midfield. And Rafiq Bryan, who we haven't seen in the league for some three or so years, has played all over the Premier League. He will go in their number nine and hope to and hopes to boost their goal scoring abilities. I um, must play for Arnett Gardens, Portmore. And Yui, just to name a few, and was a standout in his day. Okita Nicholson got this started at 1 p.m. Here at the Jackson Sports Complex. And Trisha Beach with the first real opportunity. Rafi Bryan, new signing, scored last week against, against Portmore United. One of his old teams. Couldn't find the finish there, just leaning back. Then this shot from Marlon Pennycook who was good from the get-go Pennycook that strike lots of power behind it but just too much elevation over the top he had this strike which was on target sting in the palms of Morgan good free kick it was from Pennycook on his favored left side and Morgan did well Mar Morgan had a good game as well for the most part was pretty safe then Treasure be driving forward chance here and did find the back of the neck Kadeem Stone but he was in an offside position Victor Archer with his flag up and Treasure Beach denied the go-ahead. Then this move from Pennycook into the area. Pennycook probably was fouled even before that. Decided to continue. Should have just ticked that over Morgan who came out and made himself big. Pulled it wide did Pennycook and was disappointed with his finish. They continued to cause problems. Here was Pennycook again running at the back line. Would cut on to his left foot here Pennycook. Pennycook bending that towards the far corner. And Morgan with the exciting save, two hands to it, not finding the finish. Disappointment for the bench, but I think Pennycook did really well, and so he did here in the second half. Brought down, big moment for Lime Hall. Okita Nicholson says penalty. And Pennycook probably went down pretty easily, but there was a push in his back, and he would make no mistake from 12 yards out. Into the back of the net, his first of the season, a man of the match performance for Lime Hall's number eight. And Morgan was finally beaten. Yep, that was it. Lime Hall, their first win in the Ray and Neville Jamaica Premier League, thanks to Marlon Pennycook. Both teams had seven shots, but Lime Hall with three on target, compared to Treasure Beach's two. Busy time for Keaton Nicholson, 22 fouls, and he showed four yellow cars along the way. However, both teams managing to keep all 22 on the park. That was good to see. Two saves each for the goalkeepers and majority of the possession for Treasure Beach. But they just couldn't find a way on this occasion. They passed Lime Hall's defense here at home. Lime Hall with their first three points. It's massive. 1-0 to Lime Hall here at the Jacks Hall Sports Complex. Dwight Jeremiah is our man of the match. It could be no other than Marlon Pinnacook. Marlon Congratulations on your performance today. But you just you're not here a long time, but how does it feel to have your first win of the season? Well, that's what we've been working on from I've been in here, so let us glad it happened today. You missed a chance <laughs> earlier in the game and, and you, you, you you bent over head in hand. Um, were you worried that it would come back to haunt you today if, if you hadn't won? Well as a striker, eventually when you miss one you feel it will haunt you in the end. The wait for the penalty was a long one. I mean, how nerving was it? That, oh, how nerve-wracking was it for you? Well, it's really hard, so I'm very confident for it to reach a penalty spot. All right, it's your first win of the season. Go ahead and enjoy it with your teammates. All the best going forward. Thank you. Yep, there you have it, Marlon. Player of the game. And he said there was never a doubt that he was going to.